guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Khanizala with another tutorial on the Kirio Control UTM configuration series. In this video, I will define the intrusion prevention option and then the configuration menu. Let's start. First of all, open your computer's browser. Log in to the Kirio Control Administration panel. Click on the Settings or Configuration button. Select Intrusion Prevention. Here you can see that Intrusion Prevention is enabled. Intrusion Prevention is an option which any next generation firewall should have. This option helps you to save your network from any unidentified sources or any list of IPs. Here you can see that we have three kinds of severity levels. High severity, medium severity and low severity. Here you will define what should it do with the high severity. It should log and drop the option which is selected already. With the medium severity it should only log the intrusion or throw it and with the low severity, it should not do anything. Here you can see that IPs are blacklisted, which means that there is an action predefined for the following list of IPs. Any type of traffic which comes from a bootnet command or control server, the QA control will automatically log and drop the packet. Any type of packet or connection from the D-shell identified pop attackers will be logged and dropped by QA control and any type of attack or any type of connection from the hostile or compromised host will be logged and dropped. Any type of attack from the spam has dropped listed network will be logged and also dropped. And any type of connection from the Tor exist nodes will be allowed and nothing will be done with them. Here you can see there is another option under the intrusion prevention which is update. It will automatically update the signatures and the blacklisted IPs every 24 hours. And if you want to update it manually, click on the update button. It will update it and the version of the signature database will be changed. Here it will show you the last update check status. The last update check was done 30 minutes ago and it was failed because QO control was unable to connect to the update server. There is another button under the intrusion prevention which is advanced button in the advanced intrusion prevention settings here uh, you can see that uh, to improve the performance some certain protocol and specific intrusions are detected only on ports specified in this table there is another option by the name of ignore signatures as we have an option under the DCP which is exclusion that we can exclude a specific IP address from the entire network that DHCP will not uh, start distributing that specific IP. We have the same option here uh, which is called ignore signatures. Click the add button and specify the signature and it will not be scanned by the intrusion prevention and it will be ignored automatically. That's all for today. Till next video, have a nice day and nice time.